Hey, welcome back to our next Smart Speed Showcase. I'm your host, Nate Montgomery. If you're new here, this series shares the ways in which customers are using our platform. In today's episode, we're taking a look at how you can use Smart Speed for project management and making your operations more efficient. We're going to be taking a look at this operations project management solution. If you're interested in getting your hands on this solution I'm showing today, there'll be a link in the description to copy the solution to your workspace after you start a trial. Using Smart Suite can help simplify this process by centralizing project management, allowing you to capacity plan and also do budget cracking all together in one platform. This allows operations teams to focus on strategic initiatives versus admin tasks. Opening the solution were brought to in all projects by status grid view. I'm gonna go through some of the views to share how you can use Smart Suite as a tool to do all of those three things I mentioned. We'll start off with centralizing project management. This table of projects allows you to store all projects across departments and teams, tracking the progress, the dates, the breakdown of work or the tasks, and then the financials as well. Scrolling across the grid view, we can see some of the fields we're capturing about our projects. We can see this in other ways as well. Someone like a project manager would likely wanna see overviews of the projects going on, including just the financials, or maybe they wanna see a project timeline view showing spotlights by status to depict how things are progressing with regards to time. If we wanted to focus on one project and get a great overview of that project, we can open up a record of a project and we're brought into our record view. The entire team can use the communication center to communicate and collaborate on this project. You can see the breakdown of the project and the fields of the project in these sections, which can collapse. So moving down from the project overview, we can see the tasks and the breakdown of work, including some high level information on each task. And then we have a couple of sections for financials, including our estimated. And then once time starts getting tracked by someone like an operations specialist, these fields will start filling out. Now, while operations specialists and people executing on the work can execute on the work directly inside of these record views and in different tables and views, project managers can see an overview of this information across all departments and all projects. Moving over to a project actual versus budget, we can start seeing the cost control and budget management of our projects at an overall level. Here in this chart view, we can see our different projects grouped and we're comparing our project budget in green versus our actual fees in real time to confirm we are not gonna go over a project budget. Moving over to our actual versus estimate margin percentage by project, we can also see each individual project Project managers can also get overviews of resource capacity for planning and making sure they aren't over allocating any work to the team. Moving to our resources table, we're going to be brought to a capacity overview dashboard where we can see a good glimpse into capacity for our team this week, as well as capacity for next week. Immediately, we can tell there's been an overage for Peter Thompson, which is also reflected in this over allocated capacity this week. If we click onto this metric widget or the chart, we can see that 55 hours has been allocated to him, which is more than our 40 hours per week. And then we can see the two tasks that have been assigned to him that we might need to extend the dates on to distribute the amount of time being worked on each week, or we can reassign them to a different resource that we have in the same role that has similar skills to Peter. And as we go to the next week, we can see things are looking good for our resources. Using our flexible dashboard, we're able to create widgets to show weeks out in advance, as well as larger groupings like months and years. These charts are real time, so these will immediately reflect from changes that are happening. Let's go over to task now to show how those assignments feed into the financials inside of the projects, as well as the resource capacity dashboard. We're now in a task by project table, and we can see all of the tasks that are happening for the projects that we have, the status, the description, the due date, as well as the estimate and the budget versus the actual time where roles are tracking time and doing their work. For these three projects, we've already assigned resources out to each task. So for our training and change management task, when we click to assign a resource, we know that we're looking for a customer service manager and our dynamic filter is able to only show those that have that role title. So we have Alice, Bob, and Emma. SmartSuite is gonna help us with the decision-making first showing only those that fit that role that we have in the field on the left. And then it will help us decide who we wanna pick based on how much remaining capacity they have this week next week, and then also the skills that might fit this task that we have. Alice already has a handful of work assigned to her. Bob and Emma have not been used at all. We can choose to sign from here. When we do that, the information inside of the, the capacity planning chart and resources gets updated as well. Going back, we now have over allocated someone for next week. And if we scroll down to a chart, we can see we over allocated something to Alice. And if we click on the chart, we're able to click on her record and see the breakdown of hours. And here we can make the edits of reassignment or extending that due date range of the work to spread out the hours across time. As the resources get assigned and each of the roles start viewing the task information inside of this record, making comments and collaborating with their teams or with other teams that need to be involved in these different tasks that are going on 
the financials will also be updated in real time to give those insights back into the financial views we were seeing before. Putting some values in these time tracking logs is gonna help display that. I'll do it now. A good view that a lot of the roles executing on the task may wanna work out of is this working view here. It's a Kanban view, which allows the team to drag things as they get completed. And we're using a filter to only show the assigned to that has current users. So permissions can handle which roles and which teams need to see which information and can filter out the rest to keep it simple. Moving back to projects, we can see the updates in real time of the changes we made inside of the task table. One example of something a project manager is gonna flag is when the actual fees goes over the project budget. When this happens, an automation can be set up in the background to notify the project manager when it gets close to that case. SmartSuite's also super adaptable and flexible in the fact that you can always have a running and active list of your resources where you can change the status of people to inactive. The work assigned will still remain there for the past information. The same goes for the rates and the rate cards. Collaboration across teams is also continued with tools like MyWork where it centralizes all the tasks, not just from this solution, but from other solutions your company may be using, as well as the notification to sum up all the conversation and assignments that are happening there are projects, tasks, and other resources as well. To recap, SmartSuite is a great tool to help streamline operations processes because it can help team execute on the work and give project managers overviews on project financials, capacity to help them improve decision-making, control the budget, and optimize the planning of capacity. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.